Hello and welcome to this remake of this Star Trek card game that I've made very unofficially. First of all, this is a very basic tutorial it's for someone who hasn't ever played before. So what you're going to do, go to the Google Drive link below, download this file, which is going to look like this, and then you're going to drag this HTML called Fortune to your desktop, and then you're going to click on that. Uh, other than that, you can read a little bit more about it, but we're just going to get started. So you're going to choose an affiliation, or up to three actually, that you're going to play as. And your goal is to score 100 points before the opponent or the computer in this case. A lot of different combinations you can do. But we're going to start with the Federation. And I'm actually going to show you we can start in different time periods. I'm going to start in the 23rd century, the era of Kirk and Discovery. I'm going to start out with the Enterprise. The, the way ships basically work is they have rep weapons range and shields. Range is how you're going to move around the map. These are in case you get into combat. This little icon here means that it can download or search for and put into play a certain card. You're going to select a few personnel and then we're going to enter the game. So there is a tutorial. I'll just walk you through the very basics. The way that we are going to score most of our points is by solving missions. Start out with the hand of seven. Once you've drawn your card, you can select a card to play. I'm going to go ahead and play my Kirk. So these are missions. Every one of these mission pages that you zoom into has one of these. This shows who can attempt it, so I have to be able to match the affiliations. This shows what's needed to attempt it, the skills that are required. So if these skills appear on my personal ships, I'm able to solve it. Sometimes there's a little side note of something that you can do when it's solved. This up here is mostly just for the story, though sometimes it's relevant. And this is the number of points this mission is worth. Okay, let's continue. Uh, this is how we look at the space line that we're at. So this, by clicking here, we can see our current location. This is just to toggle the grid so that I can kind of see how far I have to move. One space is one ship range. But the other thing to note is that you have to be able to staff your ships. So you'll notice that many of my personnel here have this large staffing icon. That means any of these people could individually fly this enterprise. I'm going to oh, just fly over here. You can see that my uh, little mission requirements pops up down here when I fly to a new mission. If I happen to want to know whether this is a good one to attempt, I can just click here. I can also click on this to see my ship. Click here back to the navigation menu. And this one looks like one I might be able to attempt, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And sure enough, you'll see, since I have some Federation, some Vulcan personnel here, I can start to attempt this mission. Before I do that, important to note, there's a couple other things down here. Core is just things that uh, you start out with or you play from your hand, like events, doorways, objectives. These are all just sort of your cards that boost uh, different abilities of yours or add different skills. Now let me kind of show you how the mission solving works. So I'm going to start to attempt. I seem to have encountered a radioactive garbage scow. I need an engineer and a ship with a tractor beam to get past this. I do have a tractor beam and also this ship can download a personnel. Let's see if I can download an engineer so that I can pass this dilemma. Do I have an engineer? I hope so. That'll be very sad otherwise. I do. Hello, Archer. Okay. I'm going to remove this garbage scow. Uh-oh. Now I either have to stop my engineer or my ship is damaged. I'm going to go ahead and stop Archer. Really coming in handy there, my good man. Okay. Unless I have medical and science present, which I do not, two of my crew is going to devolve. Oh, no. <laughs> Kirk is a protomorph. Now, the last dilemma it looks like one remaining. Someone is either going to reconsider their life and become a Q entity. This would have been handy when I needed this icon earlier. Or I can let my opponent score points. I'm going to do that because I probably need the skills and everything. Now, it looks like this. I think I'm missing. Uh, no, I have exobiology here. I'm missing on astrophysics. So I need an astrophysicist. Stamets definitely has what it takes. Uh, astrophysics and navigation, so Stamets can help me complete this next turn. So I still have a bit of range left on my ship. I'm going to retreat back to my outpost because I can only play personnel and ships at a location that has a facility, which you can see if you kind of toggle through here, you can see this is your facility. 
can also relieve people to your facility. Like if there's someone who I don't want to accompany on my mission, I can just leave them here to pick up later. That's kind of useful. This is how I toggle through to see crew versus if I were to beam down to a planet. This is my away team, which right now I'll just beam down to show you what it looks like. So it's just uh, marked with this icon. So there's nothing else I can really do for this turn. So I'm just going to go beam everyone up. And then I'm going to let my opponent go. You draw to end your turn. And then your opponent gets a chance to do their thing. Right now, this is just a pretty basic algorithm, I guess, that just sort of depends on what you do to affect your opponents directly. And then it increases or decreases their likelihood of being able to do certain actions. You don't have to worry about that a whole lot. If you want to view what the opponent has done, you can click here. And then the opponent ship is this one that shows up here, which if you click on it, you can see what ship they're flying. Uh, sometimes they have multiple ones, but it just shows the main one. And I can now, because I have a chance to do my card play, I'm going to go ahead and play Stamets so that I can complete this mission. There we go. Let's just make sure. Yep. So he's now in my crew. So now when I fly up to my Murasaki region, I now have the skills required uh, up here so I can hit complete mission and my score will increase. So I, I did that. Yay. So now um, I'm just going to show you one last thing. If I decide to be brave, I can fly down here. And when I'm at the same location as my opponent's fleet I can view. When I do that I see what ships they have. Because I'm paying, playing Federation I can't just go and attack them even though I probably wouldn't want to have done that to begin with. But if you're playing a different affiliation you can generally start combat and sometimes you can even have a button here that lets you beam people over. So that's all for now but there's a lot more to explore. There's time travel, there's personnel battle, there's ships battle, there's infiltrating, there's capturing people. I'm planning on making a lot more of these tutorials, including some features I'm going to add, like deck building. Please let me know what you think in the feedback, and I hope you enjoy!